Welcome back to Ouroboros King, the chess-like game that has dozens of new pieces and the ability to upgrade pieces. Here I have a bird. The bird is cool because if it dies, it actually respawns in the bottom corner. Pretty unique piece for that. And of course, I got the glass queen and the catapult. Both heavy headers, no doubt. And I'm just trying to either checkmate him or get his pieces. But he's maneuvered so well, it's kind of ridiculous. Here I'll attack his cardinal directly, just so I can get my queen in with check. And then further send over the catapult to hopefully keep checking. Let's do a queen check as well, and now there's got to be something. Let's see if I can get him with the glass queen. The glass queen I have to be careful with, because if it ever gets taken, it dies for good. So hopefully that doesn't happen to me, huh? I'm starting to realize how hard it actually is to actually get the king with this setup. Surely this has to be a great start, though. There's no way that the king could escape a bind such as this. There we go, back rank mate. And after a fight, I get a new piece, like an egg. Cannot move, upgrades to whelp. Well, I have to know what a whelp is. Let's try the egg. I guess I'm gonna take a fight then that lets me upgrade a unit after winning. Well, I'll start by advancing my best piece, the catapult. I'm hoping that I can get a good shot on the king. Well, bam, check. I guess I can actually just kind of keep walking the king down. Is this checkmate? Yeah, it's a back rank checkmate because I could jump over his knight. Ooh, two ladder mates. I almost never have these. So how does the egg upgrade? Whoa, it's a, it can have a second upgrade. Move up to two squares horizontally and vertically, except diagonals, upgrades to dragon. Well, that's exciting. I have to try that out. And this is a relic fight. If I win, I get a relic. How exciting. He's got a scary war wagon, moves like a rook or a king. I think again, I'll advance my catapult to try to get his king from behind or like directly over the war wagon. And then if I just take his war wagon, he's kind of in a sticky spot. I could get my glass queen real close and personal with a series of checks. And now that he's trapped there, I guess I could advance the dragon whelp. What does he think he's even doing? I'll march the glass queen here because it guards a very important square. Oh, you think you can check me? Do I have the fire check? Try taking it. Threat my dragon whelp? Well, if I go here, now I block off his previous one square of escape with the queen. And I can take his king before he takes mine. Excellent. So I could get 500 gold, two rewinds if I start a combat with none. And I guess that's it. So I'll take 500 gold. Especially since I'm coming up on a shop. Oh, so sad. All these pieces and none of them are attacking each other. Preposterous. I'll put an end to that. Are you threatening me? He's trying to threaten me. Well, I can threaten your king. I'm going to make a little probing move. Just go back with my catapult, see if the king goes back. Okay. Ooh, the king does mix up moves. I was hoping he'd do something like that. Now I can hit him with a sweet fork. Thanks for the free piece, buddy. Shouldn't have gotten too clever. Well, maybe I can try something like that again. Another catapult check. I think it's time to get the fire chicken to action for a bit. Attack the bishop. Hope that he'd be stupid enough to just take it, but alas. He's almost checking me with a fork, but I can block with the catapult and just be okay. He likes that trade. I also like that trade because he's out of really good pieces now. That means I can involve my own dragon whelp and maybe do something special with it. For all, I, all I got is here. I think he's going to be running out of pieces. If I take, he takes, I take. Just the king left, that's an automatic win. And now, all my moves this turn are bishop moves regardless of the unit moved. I could also boomerang a piece, so take a piece and have it bounce right back. So I'll take one of those. You know, I'll actually buy a second boomerang because the hit and run tactics are strong and I'll try the bishop in the bottle just for a bit of move flexibility. Because it's the first boss fight time. Idea the witch queen. It can go like a rook, bishop, or knight. Well, like always, I'll start with the uh, advance here. What are you doing, Idea? You like that check? Are you that desperate to go after the glass queen? There's no way in hell the game would make this trade, right? As it shouldn't. Okay, but this check is less threatening because I can block with the catapult and counterattack. Now things are looking sickly for Adia because I can catapult here, attack both the king and queen. Oh, Adia's got a sack for the catapult. So I'll take her right back. A check from the war wagon. How about I get the fire chick back into defense position? Unfortunately, I feel like black has too many pieces, so I got to do a boomerang here. Go take the bishop and bounce back. At least I've strengthened numbers now. Now I can start advancing the dragon whelp slowly but surely. And this is a fine place to park it. Pretty good viking move if you ask me. However, at least it lets me advance the glass queen with check. Of course, I don't know what I was going to do afterwards, but it is check. 
How about I put in a little effort to pin the Viking to the king? Marsh them back, hold on. I think I'll send in the Dragon Whelp right here. It's kind of a fork. Expecting the Viking to take. I can take right back. Now the War Wagon has to get a little creative. However, I too can do some creative checks. Ooh, you fell for it. You absolute buffoon. The classic Glass Queen fork. Another victory for me. Act two. I definitely need more units in my army. And a lot of upgrades. Back to the map having portals. Well, once again, best thing to do is just advance my best unit. Oh, this catapults put out a hit on my king. Bet I can't block it with the fire chick. I'll send him leftward. If I send him rightward, I probably lose my glass queen. And again, I'll slowly send over my catapult in hopes to do something. Oh, is that a... That's not a double attack on the dragon whelp. I mean, it is, but it's defended. It is moderately annoying. I'll move my king back to this spot. It was a good spot. Check me again. Okay, I'm coming back here. And there's the berserker. Damn, that thing's got a huge move radius. I still can get away with a catapult check. I was hoping he wouldn't go there, but can't have everything you want. How about I also back my dragon whelp away from the bishop? Catapult's hitting it, but protected by the fire check. Ah, move my king again. The berserker moves. Do I want to just win right now? I mean, this fight seems pretty hard. I think I'll just take the win right now. I'll do a bishop move just so I can have dragon whelp wipe out his king. I think my army's just too strong to get a win, so I need something good here. How about a royal guard? Kills like a queen, moves like a king. It's an awfully aggressive piece at times. Okay. And I think I need even more units. It's strength in numbers the game right now. To begin with, how would I do a Dragon Whelp, Whelp advancement, huh? Well, the Infiltrator comes and threatens it. Your threats don't scare me, but maybe they should. Ooh, walking this back. Hold on. I can throw down a nice double attack on this Agent Star and the Infiltrator. Now, the Infiltrator going here actually blocks the Dragon Whelp's movement, which is something I'm just now aware of. I don't know how much I value the Infiltrator, but I'm going to try valuing it a bit by just taking it out. It does mean the Night Queen becomes a queen for a little bit. That probably means I can bring in my own queen, try to wreak some havoc. Interesting. I quite like this in the corner of the map. I'm going to try something here. I'll push up my king so I can shuffle over my catapult. And that's just basically attacking my queen? Yeah, what did you think was going to happen if I then went here? That doesn't really help you because you're... Still just giving me a free piece? This isn't some 500 IQ trap, right? No, I just get two pieces for free, and you're a dumbass, so thank you. In that case, I could just have a peace-gathering mindset. Try to create a battering ram on the leper. I can't get in there so easily. Hold on, let's send the king over the catapult. That wasn't what I was hoping for. Maybe it's actually easier just approach checkmate. The only downside is my catapult is not really in the action, but it can be now. See what he does. Interesting check. We'll have a beautiful royal guard move through the portal to get to here, which attacks and defends at the same time. Let's try a catapult here, see if I back him into the corner or just force him to take. Viking isn't taking, but now I have a leper. And if I go glass queen up here, I could have a discovered attack. Wait, is it bad if the glass queen takes the leper? Do I lose it then? Actually, I don't want to risk that. Let's undo. Yeah, back that away real quick, huh? Okay, the Viking keeps approaching. But before you do that, how about I go for a Glass Queen check? And then back away the Leper more. Can't get me now. I think it's time to advance the Fire Chick. It's immortal, so, you know, what are you going to do against an immortal piece, huh? What's, what you're going to do? Just let it respawn? I don't think so. I'm going to coordinate all three of my pieces here. Come on, Glass Queen. Just can't quite trap them. I can send them still further to the edge of the map. Eventually, he'll run out of precious space. Ooh, watch out. There's nowhere for you to go, my friend. Another king tank. All right, so I need something good. <laughs> I don't think I want a marching pawn, but it does upgrade. You know, Crusader is really good. Attacks diagonally and backwards vertically. And hopefully now I can get one of those nice upgrades that I wanted. Oh, I don't need to worry about this. I can just smother the king by jumping over his pieces. Easy checkmate. That's a relief. Dragon can move up to three squares horizontally and vertically, except diagonals. I mean, that's so much movement it has. I gotta have it on my team. Well, that means maybe it should be, like, out in front. Swap with the fire chick. Anyways, I love the idea of sacrificing something I love for something even better. Nothing gets me going like sacrifice. Speaking of, Black just sacrificed this piece by having it exist. And the war wagon made a trade, so I have to be careful of the infiltrator. I can't take with that. I can't take with the fire chick, because otherwise my king is taken. But I have to take with the glass queen. Just, yeah, worried about the catapult play now. 
Gotta march over the queen somewhere safe that also still protects the fire chick. What's this bishop even doing? Threatening my dragon, pinning it to the king? Dragon is a very valuable piece. However, I will gladly trade catapult for catapult any day of the week. Now, I hope he doesn't sack the bishop for the dragon. Sack the bishop for the dragon. I wanted to use that piece next time, though. What are you doing, bowman? You're doing nothing. I will, however, march my glass queen here just to pin it. Yeah, force it back. Now I can advance with check. See if anything comes of that. I'll have a crusader. Hopefully I can get some merit out of it. I don't care if he's attacking the fire chick. You can waste the turn on that any day. I wonder actually what happens if the fire chick is killed on the corner of the board where it would normally respawn. Oh, I think I've made an oopsie. Yeah, I let myself get forked here. Let's undo that one. Instead, I'll have to be much more careful. Maybe a casual check. Maybe a little bowman harassment, because if I can just get rid of that last piece, I'm pretty happy. However, time and time again, it will merely prove to be annoying. Infiltrator is, wow, hitting two of my pieces at once. Normally I would care, but I have a fine course of action. Glass Queen here, making him move the bowman, which then lets me develop a check. And I could get the Crusader to safety too, so I will. More checks, because I just won't let up. Well, don't let my king get to the edge of the board, otherwise the infiltrator starts to have impact again. Well, now I can finally develop a check for the first time in a bit. And my follow-up is also check? Oh, I could keep this going. Not for long. The bowman's actually in a stellar defensive position. Well, fine, I'll do it. Involve the fire chick somehow. I can attack the bowman while it's not attacking me. I am in check horizontally through the portal. Wow. Some move you got there. Now what? I imagine he's smothered enough that I can possibly get him. How about this check? What does it have him do? Ooh, advances in a way that I can check him again safely. Come on, Glass Queen. There's gotta be enough moves to be able to get him. Don't tell me you can just hide in the corner. There's no way. I won't accept it. He might be able to just barely seal himself in. At least he's not counterattacking anything. And now I can take advantage of the fire check. Put me in check first. Okay, defensive fire check. Okay, he sent me back a few moves. Damn, this bowman is annoying. How does he have so many damn moves? Check again. Yeah, what happens if he takes the fire check now? He won't. Okay. I don't like being trapped on the back rank. Let's maybe get away from that. I realize I have to be very, very careful with the infiltrator too. I mean, check again. I don't know, it feels like there's nothing. Well, I'll keep making tricky moves in hopes that he does something stupid. I mean, how tricky can I truly get? Oh, put me in check. I was already going to move my king. Joke's on you, I guess. Well, let the long march forward continue. I'll hit your bowman. Kind of a fork, but not really. There's really almost no escape. There's just always somewhere for this bowman to check my king. I can't stop it. This move looks bad, but I can just march my king here. Now what? Man, anywhere I go, anywhere he's got an annoying move. Ah, all right, I gotta take that one back. That's not a good set of moves. I've been trying this for so long, I gotta realize I'm not setting up something stupid. I mean, it's unbelievable. And the infiltrator's on the side of the board again, huh? It's just another thing to worry about, you know? Never gonna win unless I get my Firebird to his king, I think. It's just a simple check. I've seen plenty like it before, just approach the scary bowman. I know my fire check is running out of moves. What does that accomplish? Nothing? Basically, yeah. He's making it so unbelievably hard for the fire chick to advance. And checking me. Come on now. Uh, now he's just back to that nasty habit. Gotta hit out on my crusader, I see. And it's pinned? It feels like the only way I'm getting out of this fight is if I, like, sack my glass queen. Which is so unbelievably annoying. Okay, maybe there's a chance I just don't need it. I really hope that's the case. It all comes down to, can I get my fire chick in here? And walk the king... I can continue to walk the king, but I should be careful. I don't know what that does. He's not really threatening me. I feel like I have tempo on him right now. He doesn't know what to do. I've absolutely confused him. Finally, the fire chick makes it. And the classic king take king. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I got out of that fight. Uh, okay. Could sacrifice a catapult to get a centaur. Move like a bishop or a knight. Or I could sacrifice the thing that gives me rewinds. With my king being unable to be hurt by the three bosses. That seems like a fair trade. All right, just gotta remember my king is safe from the boss queens. Tabitha can move like any of my pieces. I'm safe from her. I can also just wipe her out now. 
But wouldn't it just be a better play? Um, oh, hold on, wait. They can castle. I can't smother his general. So that means I should just wipe out Tabitha. Get rid of their best piece. And now figure out what to do. I think I'll try to get my royal guard a bit more active. See if I can threaten. Whoa. Yeah, you can swap any piece. Any piece. I gotta be careful of that. How about I start this party with a more aggressive dragon play? Oh, he's swapping. Agent X is hitting the dragon. That's the only real change. I wouldn't like that trade for me. However, I do like getting my dragon right here. Putting his king in check. Forcing the immortal out and totally blocking my movement. That mortal immortal is going to be a total pain in my side. Um, I could do a little bit of magic here, though. How about I march up the crusader, make his berserker take it? It didn't get taken. However, I almost consider that a good thing. Because I could march forward with check again. Castles. I'll continue the assault, get the glass queen in here for some action. Well, the berserker's moderately annoying. Wait, the berserker can hit the glass queen. What the? In that case, it's time to launch a boomerang attack. I need that berserker gone, glass queen saved. Uh, if this is the game I'm playing, I can't afford to not just keep checking. And miraculously, I can save the dragon with check. It's going there because it can't attack diagonally. Not what I would consider a good decision. I'm not sure, but I know that this royal guard check is good. That's a nasty swap. Wow. Well, I think I gotta go immortal then, at least wipe out the catapult. I gotta have something here. I think I'd probably want to get rid of his last long moving pieces. Sack the dragon for the Agent X. Infiltrator can go around the board and admittedly annoy my crusader. Oh, unfortunately the crusader saves my king right now. I gotta get my king off the edge of the board ASAP. Well, unless if I want to do this, I could go Crusader here with check. I didn't expect that take. Well, that's pretty helpful for me. Because now I got rid of your last good moving piece. Imagine it should be pretty routine from here then. Just kind of slowly march up the other pieces, make sure I don't get checkmated. And unfortunately, this still isn't checkmate but it's really close because he's running out of time i've got the fire chick play and king take king Oof, these are nasty act three i get another piece and then i'm gonna want to upgrade a ton you just got a full army i'm gonna tell you right now the fool is the piece that i'm scared of the most i'm okay with taking it out right away i have some powerful pieces and i don't want them to have those abilities for starters i can't believe this is almost checkmate there's just one centaur in the way I think I'll still do it. It's a good position. Forces him back. Nothing protects the centaur. So I can set up a second attacker with the crusader. Forcing the sorcerer back because that protects it. And hits my catapult. Brutal. I think I'll still make the trade. Crusader for centaur. It's positive. Didn't expect that follow-up. Well, how about I march back the crusader, hit a rook? Okay, crusader trade. I should still have tempo with, like, the dragon. Yeah, that sorcerer is actually really annoying as a defensive piece. I won't let myself get deterred, though. I don't know, this gets more dire by the second. Yeah, I'll escape with check, but can't keep that up forever. Maybe I could try to set up some sort of double check. Or double attack. Right now, this rook is unprotected. So I've got a pretty nasty play with the dragon here. Double check on the king, and now a double attack on the rook. This is how I come back. Mm, the only thing defending the rook right now is the king. I wonder if I can get the king away. Like, I'm looking at maybe a check here, see where he goes. Oh... Hang on, can I weasel him away from the edge of the board? Well, yeah, it's a double attack on the rook now, and the king's the only thing defending it. So again, dragon can take, and now I'm just up. <gasps> and I think I could start trading now, even. I could pick up his sorcerer for free. If he takes, then I've got a very clean winning fork. Wow, this didn't look like I was going to come out on top. All right, so musketeer is definitely the best of the bunch. After killing unit, go back to his original position. Yes, please. Yeah, I'll take that. And I'll see how I can shuffle around my army. I guess dragon can just be in the back. Maybe I'll put it out in front of the crusader. No, dragon can just develop later. It's a later game unit, I think. Mm, but it's pretty good early game too. I don't know. Okay, dragon in front. We'll experiment, see if I like it. But now I need as many piece upgrades as I can get. And already I can get good value out of the musketeer. Well, unless the berserker does that. Well, I can still get a two for one. The more I think about it, the more I like it. I get an Agent L as well. And he doesn't even take it. He doesn't consider it worth the trade, which is absurd to me. 
Well, tell me then, what happens if I just move my catapult up here? Oh, I wish I'd checked him with the Crusader instead. Well, hold on, wait, wait. If I go here with the catapult, then where does he go? He goes here, now I can do a Crusader check. Perfect. Oh, forced to block. What kind of chump has to block and then still be in check? And I can keep marching forward. Um, is this the check I want to make? I can actually make this check. Take with the musketeer, fall back. And I can get the king. My god, this is a force to be reckoned with. Of these upgrades, I gotta go glass queen. So I have mirror queen and I can stop fretting about her. Okay. It's a relic battle. Maybe I can get something good with that. Well, I've got fantastic start with the musketeer. All right, his knight does nothing. I guess it just had to go to safety. I know too well how annoying a bowman can be, so I'll get rid of you. And I think I can continue being an ass with the musketeer. What is he doing? What is it that you're gonna take? I mean, I could just have you take neither. Why don't I instead, like, crusader check you? What are you gonna do? Fall back. Instantly. Weakling. I think this is actually a fair trade. Portal mage is annoying, and crusader is definitely one of my weakest. And it's a free knight. Now life must be really annoying for you with this catapult. Well, I think the play is to put the Mirror Queen here first, expecting an Immortal block. So now what I like is that if I take with the Catapult, I could take again, and I will. It's pretty much over, it's just like how quickly am I gonna get there. Turns out it takes a little bit. I think the Dragon actually comes in handy now, there we go. So, well I can't afford an expensive one, I could get more rewinds back. And my units aren't affected by bomb explosions. You know what? I'm gonna try bomb immunity here. It just seems like one of the things I don't take advantage of often. I think it could go a long, long way. <laughs> Units are restricted, what a chump! So, this is a weird one. I think I'm just gonna send off my Mirror Queen right now for a bowman, have it become a bowman. I'm not in check, but it is a little awkward. Well, what do I do now? Trade? How about this? I'll take it a stab at him instead with check. Okay, Gorgon can't kill anybody. I have to remember that, so... Let me do a little annoying bowman harassment right now. I actually got exactly what I was looking for, which means putting the bowman here, having the king move, and then bowman trading. This way is out of long attackers. I'm not sure how to play this then. Maybe a dragon strat? Wow, he's just going right after the dragon. That means I can start advancing the musketeer. Oh, that's a nasty check. Jesus. Okay, take that back. Wow, that's a terrifying play. What the hell? All right, hold on. How would I move my royal guard here? Okay, I kind of want the troll gone. Never really thought about how annoying these things could be. Alright, so I've got a discovered attack with the Crusader, but the Musketeer doesn't move out of the way too conveniently. There's one thing I can do. I could advance it forward attacking the Viking, prompting a move there. And now I could move it over with check. And enjoy the free piece. Alright, Sorcerer's going after my dragon. I admit that's awfully annoying. I think it's still worth it if I go ahead with the Musketeer. Pick off their troll like this. It's a free piece for a free piece. However, his sorcerer is held in place. That means I can just go ahead with the catapult to here, because he can't check me, can't move. Now it can move. However, the bomb immunity comes in handy. I'd like to hope it could be simple for the rest of the time, but it almost never is. Oop. Oh, Gorgon can't kill, so this is just a fork. There we go. Nice. Important upgrade. Do I ever want to go fire chick? Can move two squares cardinally or diagonally? I mean, this is probably one of my worst pieces, but also making a Knight Templar would be huge. It turned my Crusader into yet another real threat. So I'll take a second real threat, or maybe not a second, but like a fourth real threat. Just in time for the boss fight. They could not have started further away from me, huh? Now time for the long journey of advancing the catapult over. Just gotta be careful of Andromeda. That's a scary piece right there. What are you doing, Gorgon? I could pick it off for free right now, or I could just start putting pressure on pieces like Andromeda. Oh, their pieces aren't affected by bombs either, so that would just be a waste of a turn. Okay, we've come to an impasse. Both of us are immune to bombs. Oh, and Andromeda's hitting my catapult. I hate it. However, what happens if I catapult here? I'm hitting both the Gorgon and Andromeda. What did you take? My dragon? Surely, if that wasn't worth it. I'm glad to see Andromeda with the stars gone. I mean, damn. Also, this knight is actually undefended. It's kind of defended by Portal Mage, but it's pinned to the king. That's a free piece. Okay, I'll fall back here. I don't think I need to have it too far out. Oh, uh, Centaur. Threatening my queen. All their scary pieces are gone. I should just trade down now. Trade, trade, trade away. I'm a Centaur, bitch. We'll double attack on Warwagon and King. Follow that up. 
We've got almost no scary pieces left. Well, I'll begin this slow journey of advancing the Musketeer. It's gotta get some work done eventually. This Gorgon is useless. Oh, but it could be a little bit better than useless soon. What does he do if I go here? Stops moving the Gorgon, I see. Unpins himself. Maybe that was just a bad idea. Yeah, why would I willingly walk into the Gorgon? Instead, I should play like this. Trade off a Forty Mage for a Royal Guard, and then go Musketeer here. See what he does. All right, make him come to me. Because now I gotta use the Knight Templar to get the Gorgon off my ass. However, it's not working. Yeah, that's certainly fine. Especially the portal mage just goes there because now I can get a nice fork. All right, it's over. Just uh, thinking I got a pretty simple move here. And there we go. All right, now it's the boss fight. Like the real, real boss fight. But I am safe against all the queens. Now they can destroy boulders, they can castle, and they're not affected by bombs. And I start by attacking none of them, but they can hit multiple of my pieces. That's not good. The fact that they can move through boulders is probably the worst of it all. Well, the best thing I can do is try to get my best unit in here, the Musketeer. Well, my dragon's dead, and it's protected by a cardinal. Am I really sacking the Knight Templar for it? I think so. I, what I want to do with the Mirror Queen is to take one of their queens so I can capture its essence. However, that won't happen because I'm capturing a cardinal. Well, I've got a shoddy put-together team right here, and nobody's being taken. Nobody's even close to threatened. Great. I think I just gotta play defensive right now. There's a double attack on the catapult, but it is pretty defended on my end. Maybe I can scare him a little bit with the check. Hold on, does that make me vulnerable? I think it's fine. Well, this is interesting, actually. My king can't be hurt by the three big queens, and the fire chick always respawns. So if, like, I can get rid of their non-queens, my king becomes a deadly force because I have an immortal unit. This gives me hope. You don't concern me yet. I need to get my good unit in there. Nice castle. So this is a perfectly safe spot for me. <laughs> Advancing the knight in. That's one of the pieces I want to go on. Still a safe spot. And the portal mage. You're sacking everything for me. Thank you. Um, do I care about that take? Well, I probably should take it still right now. I'm, I'm not sure which order is best. My king isn't under attack. I think this is fine because it's check. Especially if they do that. Oh, the musketeer's gotten so many kills. It's beautiful. All I have to do is get rid of Tabitha, which can move like all my pieces combined. But you don't have the powers that I have. You cannot hurt my king. But you can hurt rocks. All right, get my cardinal out of the way with check. Slowly gonna advance my good pieces. Think you're cute with that play? I don't think so. How about now? Oh, that moves the musketeer back. I didn't see that one coming. Well, annoyingly, Tabitha gets to pick up the musk. No, I'm not in check. I can still run. But I guess a bomb counts as a unit. Well, hopefully I can hold on to this musketeer. It's done me so well so far. Yeah, it's doing great. Oh, here we go. Cardinal in the action. What are you even going to do? Nothing. It's over. Hell yeah. What a win. We didn't get to abuse the Firebird, but it was an interesting late game threat. And you know what I'm tempted to do? I could do another episode where I try this in infinity mode. Let me know if you want to see that. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next episode of Orbo's King. Have a wonderful day and peace.